Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I am doing the larger piece since the other one worked out so well. Actually, it sold <laughs> immediately. <clears throat> so I'm really happy about that. It's going to a very nice home. I have swapped out the browns and the top, the brown and the toffee for, um, this is, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. It was just, it's this intense color and excellent coverage. And it is a pearlized crystal blue. So that's what I have here. And I put the indigo writ dye in it. And then I also added Surin purple, Surin purple. And I added the purple right dye. Oh, by the way, I went to Aldi's and I, I only expected to get a couple of things and I had, of course, more and more and more. And then I had my um, bag sitting here and then it just, went down and it just kind of tore my skin. Um, I've got like a, a, the spirit of a 29 year old, but for some reason aging does that kind of stuff to you and it kind of sucks, but oh well. So I've already prepped my canvas. I've uh, sprayed the back, taped it, pinned it, and I did the edges with Liquitex. So what I'm gonna do is put, down, I'm gonna put the colors down first this time. On, on the bare canvas and then pour the pearl mix over top. It gives it a little bit of a different look. And I also want to use the black since I didn't use the black yesterday. There's the Modern Masters in iridescent gold. There's not too much of this paint left. <clears throat> and that is well, you saw the colors in the beginning, so because I can't pronounce them anyways. This is shoe copper. That's what I can pronounce. <laughs> and then Baku red. Looks like a rainbow to me. But I'm going to do something a little bit different with this. Now I'm going to put all the Baku red down. Well, I've got to save some just in case any. In case I need to make some adjustments. And then the, this is that purple I just showed you. This is the Modern Masters. And I did put the um, Rit dye in the Modern Masters too. You can do that. What a pretty rainbow. But I'm going to darken up the rainbow. And then I do have a teal here too, which is Okinawa blue. And this is from um, eye candy as well. Since I have all these paints mixed up, I want to use them. Um, go back this way. So it's going right over all those other colors, so I might have to come back in. Some of them. wasn't too stark. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's all I can say is it doesn't matter. I do want some negative space up there. I'm going to bring it back. I just love doing these. They're so much fun. Now, if you use the color, um, color pigments, you don't have to put any red dye or any additives in it. They do it automatically. Um, it just does it. Oh, this is going to be pretty, I think. And I have a, um, a large Fluid Art Co. mat underneath here. It's so much easier to clean up the drips afterwards. I, I just kind of fold it and throw it into a cup. Look at this. I did this yesterday. All right, so here we go. Mm -hmm. 
torch it. Out of blur. I don't know if this is going to work out. I think I might end up with mud over here. I'm not sure. But I also have Carbon Black by um, Golden. So I'm going to grab my Berta. Town. Hi, Fan Cool. to this, but I do want to blow some out first. Put you on time lapse and play. You saw what happened there. <clears throat> I'm going to try to rescue this because I ran out of colors. Dang. So here comes the brown. Let's just go back and forth. I don't know what happened. I think the black, it just overpowered it. It wasn't terribly horrible, but it wasn't it wasn't grand. Let's just put it that way. It wasn't grand. So I'm going to try to do something with this. Oh, it's too late to fix 
up any more paint. Well, it's never too late. is kind of interesting. It's the first time I, well, I think that's the second time <clears throat> I scraped, which I could have just poured over it, which probably would have been a better idea, but all right, I'm going to go over there since it has no paint and then down. And then up. Up and over. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> what we get. I don't know. Oh. You know, it's funny because I was expecting a certain result. And whenever I expect a certain result, it just doesn't happen. Expectations get me in trouble all the time. All right, let me, um, It's going to be crazy, but I don't like the composition. There is no composition. So. Eraser. Oh, now I'm liking it. Another way to fix things. I might put some black ins yet, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put you on time lapse again. Oh, wait a minute. Let me save the paint. It's part of the Save the Paint Foundation. This. Uh -uh. 
there's still more under here. Well, we'll keep that there because I might need it. Much better. Much better. <clears throat> I might even just leave it. Ever, I think I've done that once, maybe. If that. So I did use the Kendo Brown and the toffee that I made up. All right. I'm going to put you time lapse again. Hey guys. Um, <laughs> I did not touch this one. I did not do any kind of enhancements. I just wanted to see what it would do on its own. And to do that, because I, every time I'm near my paintings, I have to, I have to fiddle with them. So I cleaned up all of my art tools, which took me about an hour. So that time lapse you saw was about an hour. And I really love it. I love the softness of it. By the time I got back to it, it was um, starting to set up. So there was no, there was no opportunity for me to go ahead and do anything um, more to it. It's, oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so pretty. So, and then I don't know what happened here. I think it might have been when the blow dryer just blew those out. I'm not, I'm going to leave them because it's kind of part of the charm. But um, just another version of this technique. Yeah. <laughs> kind of pulled this one out of my you know what um yeah that first one I had I usually would pour over it but there was so much black on it I had to get the black off and uh look at those pigments that's the Okinawa blue oh, just love the softness of this had to fish out a couple of bugs. Um, they're gnats, whatever. Natty, natty. So um, anyhow, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. And uh, yeah, if you would like to purchase any of my artwork, you can reach me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. And uh, I have a website, but I got to be honest, I haven't really put a lot onto it. <laughs> My cousin kind of did it for me. Um, anyhow, ciao for now. Hey guys, <clears throat> less than 24 hours, it's dry. There isn't as much bling as I thought there would be, but like I said, I didn't touch it. I didn't put any additional on top, which probably would have been better, but I like the softness. Yeah, and those aren't cracks. <laughs> Those are, that was me not being able to touch my piece and pulling some color through. So, um, yeah, I'm, it's very cool, very soft, me likey. Here's the dried result.